Maybe you've been to the local lumber yard or your big box store lately and needed some plywood or two by fours for a project. Then realized you were going to end up paying as much as three or four times what you paid during your last project. Magnify that increased cost for those who use lumber on a bigger scale and suddenly there are serious problems. Uh, currently we have three new builds going on. Courtney Rouse Hines is in the home building business with Habitat for Humanity. Delaying her projects because of higher lumber prices is not much of an option. Lumber prices actually started increasing because of various factors as far back as 2018. That's according to the National Association of Home Builders. But in 2020, with new demand partly caused by the pandemic, the costs continued to escalate, but it seems most began to take notice just this year. It's gotten worse, um, especially I think towards the spring when a lot of people start building, and um, but it's just, and like I said, it keeps increasing, so we don't see any signs right now that it's even slowing down, so that's very concerning. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath house going up in the Hillsdale community. It's typical of what Habitat builds, but this one costs twice as much. I looked at the numbers before I came out here just to make sure, um, which was kind of uh, sad. But yes, it actually has doubled since the, the last house we put together last year. You can call it sticker shock, especially for those who depend on building for a living, like carpenter Tony Causey, who's been watching the price of plywood. It's fit some of it they got in here now. It's fifty five dollars, and other and it used to be around what thirty five dollars and thirty two dollars. Yeah, and it slowly went on up. On average, the National Association of Home Builders says the soaring prices have added $36,000 to the cost of building a single family home. What's causing the surge in lumber prices is simple supply and demand. Even before the pandemic, lumber prices were rising. When sawmills and lumber producers had to cut back and lay off workers as the pandemic sped across the country, the supply got smaller, but the demand increased today's homeowner host, Nanny Lipford. The low interest rates are driving a lot of construction and it doesn't change overnight. So with a lot of the contractors backing off on building homes, but the demand is there more than ever, again, because of that low interest rate, uh, they're really um, a challenge to move forward. Lipford says about 20% of contractors who build new homes are pouring slabs, but not framing homes yet in hopes the price of lumber starts to come back down. And that could be a while. But um, I mean, I'm always an optimist and I feel like it's going to adjust itself slowly. But I think over the next few months, we'll start seeing it peak and start dropping back down. At least we all hope so. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.